So, do ported choke tubes reduce recoil? Some new information has come up, but today we're going to put this question to rest once and for all. Boss, shot shells gave me the ammunition used in this video. Carlson's gave me one of the choke tubes. Mossberg gave me the shotgun, which came with the other choke tube. Holosun gave me the red dot, and Mantis gave me their X10 Elite shooting performance system. George back here with the New Hunter's Guide, the YouTube channel, and do not forget about that podcast, helping new hunters get started and bringing new insights to all hunters. Guys, today we have a viewer requested video and a re-requested and then a re-re-requested video. We are gonna test to see if ported choke tubes reduce recoil. Now I have already tested this particular theory, not just once, but twice. However, some new information has come up. I thought I had put this to bed already, but you guys, the viewers, kept bringing up some new points, some of which were very valid, so today we are going to put those to the test. Number one point that you guys brought up is I was not using choke tubes with enough porting on the previous tests. And so today I have a much more aggressively ported choke tube. Here I've got the Mossberg AccuChoke. It has four times the number of ports than the chokes that I tested in previous videos. I'm going to test that up against a Carlson's choke tube with no ports. Both of these are the exact same constriction, 0.67. They are turkey chokes. You guys said in the last video, hey George, you did not use potent enough ammo for this test. I was using target loads. And you guys said, George, you need to use some more potent ammo. You need to use some high brass loads in order to do this test. Test. And the reason is that low brass ammo or target loads just do not have enough pressure, enough punch. There's not enough recoil or gas generated in order for the ported choke tube to reduce that recoil. So today we're going to use the highest brass ammo that I could find, Boss Copper Plated Bismuth Waterfowl Loads. These are two and three quarter inch shells, number four shot traveling at 1,350 feet per second. You do not get any higher brass than boss. Now you guys also said, do not use ammo that is too heavy duty. You don't want to use turkey loads because then the shooter will get fatigued and then the data will get skewed the further you go in the test. So these are right in the middle between a low brass and a turkey load. They're a high powered waterfowl load. I should be able to shoot these with no issue. For this test, I'm gonna shoot an entire box. 10 of them with the non-ported choke tube, and then 10 of them with the ported choke tube. In the first test, I did three, three wasn't enough. In the second test, I did 25 of each, 50 total shots, that's probably too much. Number three thing that you guys said, you said, George, the shotgun that you had tested this before with had a ported barrel. And so gas could be escaping through the ports in the barrel before it it makes it to the ports in the choke tube, thus negating the impact of the ported choke tube. That's a fair point. That's the only shotgun barrel that I had when I shot those previous tests, but today we're going to use my Mossberg 940 Pro Turkey with its non-ported barrel. Number four thing you guys said was, George, the barrel that you were using for the last test was too long. I was using a 28-inch barrel, and you guys said that a shorter barrel will produce a more pronounced difference with ported choke tubes because there's less barrel, so there's less gas or less space for the gas inside. I don't know. I tried figuring it out, didn't quite follow that one, but it doesn't matter. It's easy to test. The 940 Pro Turkey has a 24 inch barrel. So we'll be using a shorter barrel for this test to see if we can find some way to determine whether or not ported choke tubes make any difference at all. Now, in order to test this, we're going to use the Mantis Elite 10X training sensor system. I have fixed this little training sensor to the front of my shotgun barrel and it gives me a number of recoil parameters. So it is gonna measure my recovery time, it's gonna measure my recoil height, it's also gonna measure my recoil amplitude. So we're gonna get three different measures of recoil. We will average those across both 10 shot groups, one for the ported choke tube, one for the non-ported choke tube. So let's head down to the range and see what we can learn. I made it down to the range here. I've got the Mossberg 940 Pro Turkey here. 
loaded up with the Carlson's unported choke tube, as well as the Mantis on the end, already loaded up with five rounds of the Boss Copper Plated Bismuth. I'm gonna shoot the first five rounds, reload, shoot the next, then I'll swap choke tubes and go ahead and repeat the drill. I'm gonna step back and keep you guys at this perfect angle right here so you can see muzzle rise and anything else that happens as a factor of recoil. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and load up with five more. Now you wanna keep in mind here guys with this test is that the range doesn't really matter. All that matters is I'm trying to be as consistent as possible with every shot so that we've got good data between the test groups. All right, let's do one more. All right, we'll go ahead here, swap out the choke tubes. I've got our heavily ported choke tube up now, and let's see what happens. Now I know what you guys are wondering, George, how much recoil are these shells really putting out? They're surprisingly manageable. Uh, I could probably shoot these all day actually. So there's no risk here, I think, of shooter fatigue. These shells are doing really nice. All right, last one. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the data, see what happened here. And please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, help this video spread and reach more people. And if you like videos like this, field tests, kicking the tires on assumptions and reviews, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. All right, now for the moment of truth. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these numbers right here. Check this out. For the recovery time, the ported choke tube had zero point. 0.2 seconds less recovery time, which means that the ported choke tube was indeed better on recovering time by two hundredths of a second. Let's check out the muzzle rise here. The ported choke tube was 12 degrees versus 10 degrees. So the ported choke tube actually had 2.15 degrees more muzzle rise. What that means is you actually had more effect of recoil with the ported choke tube. So it did not reduce the effect of recoil. There was actually more impact of recoil with the ported choke tube. Then recoil width. We had 5.17 versus 8.3. So with the ported choke tube, we saw three additional degrees of recoil. So we're seeing two degrees more on the one measurement and then three degrees more on the other measurement. So what did these measurements tell us? Well, one of the three said we had ever so slightly better recovery time with the ported choke tube. And then two to three said we had slightly more recoil from the ported choke tube. So of the three measurements, two of them said more recoil with the ported choke tube. Now these numbers are small super small, very tiny, all right? We're talking two and three degrees, two hundredths of a second, not enough difference to matter in either direction. So the bottom line is, do ported choke tubes reduce recoil? No, they do not. Doesn't matter what you're using, doesn't matter the shell, doesn't matter the choke tube, doesn't matter the barrel length, doesn't matter if the barrel's ported, nothing matters, guys. Ported choke tubes do not reduce recoil. All right, third video on the subject, we have no improvement of recoil from ported choke tubes. So myth busted. All right, the whole internet can go ahead and move on to the next thing, move on to the next video. If you want to learn more about recoil though and how to reduce it, check out this video I did right here with recoil and semi-automatic shotguns. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Till next time, God bless you and go get them in the woods.